So are you ready for whatever the new year has in store? Kim Jong-un and RBG, Prince Harry, it's royalty, the moon explosion, locust swarms, guess that's how it goes. He didn't start the fire. I mean, it can't be that bad, can it? <laughs> Hey everyone, as we're airing this episode of the 5 Minute Sales Training, it's a new year! Happy New Year! A clean sheet to write on, and with that new year comes new opportunities. I want you to start the year off by challenging yourself. Wait, you don't want to do that? Fine, I'll do it for you. Look, we want to be ready for whatever 2021 has in store, right? Now look, much is still out of our control, I get that. But what can you control? The weather, the economy, global pandemics? No, you can't. But one thing is for sure, you can control how you respond to discomfort. That's right, each year brings both opportunities and discomforts. And it is how we respond to those moments of discomfort that are going to make all the difference, whether you're in sales or in your life in general. I want this to be your boldest year ever. But that's not going to happen by accident. It only happens by design. So let's start by talking about addictions, specifically comfort addictions. See, we all have a little comfort addict in us. It's that part that wants to be warm and cozy all the time. <gasps> Get this one. There's another soft one. <gasps> oh. It's the part of us that looks not necessarily for what is best, but for what is easy. In any event, what we see here is that that sales process can be seen as a series of discomforts. And the question to ask is, how will you respond? because it is the response to discomfort that's gonna make all the difference in the world, in our sales world, but even in our life in general. And the remedy here, boldness. Boldness is about leaning into your discomforts. You want an example? Suppose you're working with a customer and you think you're gonna get the sale. It's all going along well. You're using your best material. It, you got a great sense of connection. It feels really, really good. And you go for it. Here you go. It's time to ask the question. But the customer says, Well, let me think about it. What you gonna do now? Seriously, what do you do now? See, the comfort addict actually convinces himself or herself that what they are doing is in the customer's best interest. It's not. That customer is asking you for help. They don't know how to deal with it here. They want to know that they're getting the very, very best price they can get. But the comfort addict who lets them walk away and thinks about it says, you go figure it out. Now, what does the bold salesperson do? The bold salesperson leans into that. It, of course, starts with a tell me more. It's the idea to get that customer to share where they're coming from, what is their perspective. But then the salesperson knows how to defend their value because they practiced it over and over again. Wait a minute, practice is uncomfortable, but the bold salesperson doesn't let their own desire for comfort get in the way. They are not comfort addicts. Now, this can be the difference maker for you in an uncertain 2021. Think of it like a journey and you are your own self-guide. You can use this as what I call a character goal. I encourage people each year to think about the quest, not just of setting a goal for your physical needs, although that's very important, or your financial goals, also very important, but what about a character goal? Whether that's some form of patience with your kids or while you're driving. Maybe it's a, a goal to overcome your digital addiction and spend less time on your smartphone. Those character goals make us better people. Well, I would argue that boldness is a great way to do that, to build that boldness muscle. And it is a muscle. You want to think of it that way. If you want to think about being bold, what do we want to do here? We want to start just a little bit at a time. Don't think about the most uncomfortable thing that you have to deal with in your life or in your sales experience. Think about something small. Lean into it. Embrace the discomfort. And you will find that that boldness muscle gets stronger and stronger. Journal it. 
make it a path for you throughout the course of the year to be able to lean into that opportunity. And if you want to get a head start on that, you can read my book, Be Bold and Win the Sale, all about sales discomforts. Hey, thanks for watching the first five minute sales training episode of 2021. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want a notification of every time a new five minute sales training comes out, just go over to jeffshort.com. We can get you on our weekly mailing list. You'll know immediately when we send out a video. Now, make it a great year, my friends. And remember, learn more, turn more.